everyone and welcome back to another vlog. I originally wasn't going to vlog today because I've wasted my entire morning and midday but I just thought fuck it I'm going to just start vlogging from the middle of the day now. Like self-isolation is so weird. I just I really still can't believe it's happening but um yeah so I've just wasted the past two hours of my life doing my hair and makeup even though I have nowhere to go nothing to do of course like I just want to make myself feel good um I might include a little boohoo haul in this vlog because I got my April stuff early um lots of like loungewear bits I got this like really oversized pink tee so it just has loads of like American cities on the back here um just thought it was super just super cute for relaxing and chilling in and um, whilst everything is popping off and then i've got these boohoo shorts they're like sort of like tie-dye-ish um just cream i just thought these were super cozy as really comfortable material um and perfect for chilling in i'm going to show you the rest of the stuff now just a little disclaimer i've been getting so much hate on all of my boohoo stuff recently and i think i just it's just been really pissing me off because people are saying that I can't possibly empower females or women if I promote or share stuff from fast fashion brands but the only fashion brands that I can afford to buy from and that I've, I've bought from for my whole life are fast fashion unfortunately because I'm not rich and I don't have the money and if Boohoo, a brand that I've bought from previously, are going to offer to help keep me stocked up on stuff that I need and want to wear then I'm going to obviously say yes to it and I feel like a lot of people would and it's a brand that I've like worn for years like I, it's just an achievement for me and for people to just constantly be slaying everything i do it's so infuriating and especially when people don't ha know half of my life i'm sure there is not one person in this world who is perfect and being completely sustainable in every single form of life i have massively cut out my meat consumption i changed all of my i don't really i don't use dairy milk at all i'm always using plant-based milks i try and walk everywhere that i can when i'm in lincoln i don't use any form of transport so I'm always walking and not using like petrol and putting pollution into the atmosphere like there are so many other things that I'm doing to be try and be like as sustainable as possible but for fast fashion like, when my part-time job is like sharing new pieces like it's not like I'm telling everyone to go out and buy shit loads of clothes I just want to give people inspiration for things to wear and feel confident in and if that's not empowering then I, do, I just I, I don't know what is so, there's a lot of people getting in my grill recently and I know I shouldn't let it affect me but it is when there's like trolls commenting on all of my content that is to do with fashion it's just quite sad and like it's something that I've built up over a long period of time and it's something that I'm proud of and then for people to just start slating me and being nasty it's just not a great feeling especially when I'm um a wounded little sensitive soldier and just yeah I just need to work on not letting pe other people affect me when they don't know half of my life so yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I need to put this on I'm really cold I'm going to just share with you the rest of my boohoo stuff because I just realised that I'm not going to stop uploading stuff because I was having a really low evening the other day when I was reading through all the hate comments um, and then I just blocked everyone and re reported everyone who was like giving bad, sending bad vibes on my videos which was such a relief. Like YouTube have this feature now that you can like hide users from your channel so when they comment on your video they're letting out their negative energy that they clearly need to um, to get something off their chest that's obviously really bothering them about my life um, and only they can see it. None of my other like friends family people who watch my videos can see the comment it's literally only the troll who can see their own comment and um, so at least it helps them get their anger out out on someone um, without hurting my feelings so respect for youtube for bringing out that feature it's my favorite thing ever um, and now i'm just going to show you the rest of the things that i got from boohoo and hopefully inspire you guys to pick up some cute little loungewear sets if you haven't got many things to 
chill around in home. Okay, so first few things I got are actually from the beauty section in Boohoo. Boohoo stocks loads of amazing like cosmetic brands and lots of like drugstore makeup brands. So I picked up the Sleek Cream Contour Kit because this is incredible. I love a cream contour, especially because I have dry skin. So I picked up this. I haven't tried it yet, but I've had the light one before. So I'm not sure how medium's gonna go, but I feel like it's gonna be good when I start tanning again. I need to get into a good fake tanning routine and working on that whilst I'm in isolation because I, I have nothing else to do. <laughs> well, I do, I have uni work, but that's not fun. And um, then I've got my favorite concealer at the minute, which is the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser. I used to love this stuff and then I recently rediscovered it from the Boohoo website. So I'm just, I just got another one of these before my shade sells out. And then I've got the Technic Shade Adjust um, highlighting drops. It's sort of, I think it's supposed to like lighten, the aim is for it to lighten foundations, but it looks more of like a champagne-y highlighting drops to me. So I'm gonna mix this in with my foundation to give me like a glowy finish. And um, that was my plan anyway. And it's actually in like a really big bottle. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Some underwear that I bought. I just wanted to get some more cozy underwear seeing as I am gonna be chilling in either my underwear, pajamas or loungewear for the foreseeable. So I got, got this gorgeous like chocolate brown set. So this is just like a slinky, soft bandeau. Oh, I'm so, it's so dreamy. I will probably try these on at some point or show you them when I do wear them at some point in my vlogs. But this, I just thought this looked so comfortable, really stretchy and elasticated. And then I got the brown thong as well, just super simple, but I just know that it's gonna be really comfy. Something that I needed to grab. I then picked up a couple more tees. So I just showed you the little, baby pink one that I picked up. I also got this like mauve off coloured one and um, this just says fresh on the front, fresh trademarked um, and I just again I live in t-shirt dresses Wh whatever the season, whatever the weather I'm always in a t-shirt dress like just lounging around in so I just thought I'd pick up some new ones because I have a lot from like summers ages ago that have got all like holes in or just a bit grim and grubby so I just needed to pick up some new t-shirt dresses which I was actually going to do before lockdown so I'm glad I got to pick some out from Boohoo. See, so, yeah, I really like this I thought it was super simple I like the colour and then I also got another purple. I'm really enjoying like the lilacs, the purples, the pinks at the minute. So I got this lilac colour and then on the back, it's really cool. It just says global. Um, it has like a really cute block peachy colour as well. I just really like the design of this and it just stood out to me. So this is like the first thing I put in my basket. I was like, oh, that looks quite cute and summery. And I, I knew I was going to get a lot of use out of that because I'm always in t-shirt dresses. Then I picked up a pair of socks. I think these were only like three pounds. Um but it just says girl code on and I just thought these were so cute again for lounging in. I know I'll be in like lots of woolly socks at the minute because it for some reason, because when I'm at home, my room is freezing. I only have one radio in my room and it's all the way over the other side of my room back there. So the heat doesn't really like get to my bed and my room was like a converted garage, like it's downstairs. So it's really cold because all of the walls like go to outside. So you know, the cold air seeps through and I'm usually cold. So I'm not usually like a person who wears socks in the house at all. I like bare feet, <laughs> even though I do hate feet. I just don't like being confined by socks, but I just have to wear socks when I'm in this room. So I thought these were so cute and a little bit of me. So yeah, very excited about these. I also had some bits in my basket that I've had in a while that I'm picking up obviously for when I get out of isolation. So I got some sandals. I could to be fair walk in these sandals if I'm going for my daily walk of the day. Um, I haven't got any sandals at the minute so I just needed a pair and I sized up because um, I have really wide feet so whenever I buy shoes online on any online website I always size up because the sizing is usually too small so yeah I sized up with my shoes and I just really like these. I always go for like a simple sandal um because i don't want them to be too like dramatic a couple more things so we've got a cute little dress i'm not really sure how me this is but i just thought for when we can finally go out to celebrate summer um i got this like pale pink polka dot um skater dress i'm just not really sure how i'm feeling but i'm thinking with them sandals some curls in my hair a bronze glow it might look cute i don't know if it's like too girly for me though because i don't usually go for that sort of vibe so i've got this chain belt i just thought this would look so cool i have a lot of blazers and i've seen a lot of people wear like chains around the blazers thought this would look so cool especially around my like black blazer my cream one i just thought it would make the outfit a little bit more bougie um and yeah i just really liked this gold chunky belt and it'll go with all of my like gold jewelry as well which is peng so 
yeah, I'm buzzing about that. The final thing I picked up is this leather jacket. I'm still yet to find a good leather jacket that is big enough. Like, I keep getting the big, biggest sizes from all these websites, but they still seem to come up really small. Like, is that the usual fit of a leather jacket? Is it supposed to be tight fitting? Because I always thought it was supposed to be a little bit like baggier and bigger and that's how I would like to style it and um, but I got this one it has like puffy like shoulder sleeves and I thought this would be nice for a little bit of structure and they're long sleeved obviously um got a little bit of like zip detail but yeah I just need to try that on and see if it fits but I've had no luck so far when trying to find like a leather jacket for years so if anyone has any recommendations if that doesn't fit let me know <laughs> oh and I also got something else I just found I got some rings too. But yeah, I hope everyone is doing okay. Let me know what you've been up to. I just thought I'd film. I'm gonna be taking some flat lays because I'm gonna be starting to write some blog posts because writing is just a good way to get out my energy. I'm gonna be writing a blog post today so I need to take some flat lays because I wanna share like all my beauty favorites at the minute and recommend all the stuff that is in my makeup bag. So I'm gonna set that up, pop you on the side and then get shooting the photos. So yay me and carrie i think have mentioned this in a video before but we both use um b and q free the like wallpaper samples as flat lay backgrounds so <laughs> that's what i'm doing right now i'm just unraveling this one this i just wanted something plain because obviously i'm gonna have a lot of different like colors with all the beauty products so i don't want and um, this could be really overwhelming with like a block color background so, so i've got one of these like mini ring lights um, that I got for Christmas and it's just perfect because it's uh, USB at the end so I just plug it into my laptop it's super easy and then it has like different settings so this one's white light then I have like a warmer coloured light and then an even warmer like yellower light but I usually go for the white because I prefer it so all of my daily makeup favourites are in this bag here so I'm going to get them all out I think I'm going to use this bag as my like makeup bag prop because it's just goes better with the wallpaper i don't know whether to do one i think i might do one of everything laid out first and then go into categories like f face eyes lips so i'm gonna do that first i think I think I've got everything that I wanted to include. I'm actually really happy with the, how it's gone. So this is what everything looks like. I might have to move some stuff around when I'm shooting, but say this is from above, you're gonna pretty much have like an overview of all of my like favorite makeup products. So I'm gonna give my best shot at trying to capture this um, as best as I possible and I will show you the final result. So I just went out and just got a little snack. We're not having dinner until a little bit later because my brother's out working. We're having a roast dinner tonight. I'm so excited. Like, my dinners have been fucking banging since I've come home. So, I've been thoroughly enjoying that side of being back. I am not enjoying as the fact that I'm not, like, in my own space, though. Like, I obviously love my family. But if you're a uni student, you'll probably know that you get so used to, like, living life how you want to without people, like, asking what you're doing 24-7. And I know that seems probably, like, really mean. But I think people will understand that. Like, well, anyway, me and my friends feel the same way. So, it's made me feel better. But, yeah, it's just a little bit weird like living in a house full of people now if that makes sense in a second i'm just gonna finish watching this youtube video because i got distracted do a decluttering of my beauty makeup cosmetic sort of stuff so i'm gonna separate them into piles i think i'm gonna have one that i'm chucking out completely because i'm better at letting things go now but i used to properly be like oh my god the packaging's so stunning how can i throw away this but i'm gonna be ruthless so i need to chuck away stuff that is empty or gone out of date I need to make a pile of stuff that I can either give to my friends, family, or if not, then I can give away. And then a, ch a pile for charity. I know Fabulous Hannah does this really amazing thing every month when she gets sent stuff that she gives it to like a, a local women's refuge. So I'm thinking about doing that for another pile as well. So yeah, I need to sort through all my beauty stuff and that'll be in a main channel video as part of my like self-isolation diaries. I'm gonna do a nice little declutter of my wardrobe area, which is looking estate now. So I'm gonna do that and time lapse it on here so you guys can see me do that i'm also going to be writing my blog post later i just wanted to get the photos done out of the way whilst there was a bit of natural lighting i like writing in the evenings and i'm more productive in that side of things then so <laughs> Right, so I am midway through my decluttering video. Um, 
this is what it's looking like so far it's f it, i am really happy with how it is compared to what it was before you'll have to go watch the video but there's literally like nothing in these drawers which is so refreshing i've like had a clean down using my duster and everything and then these are so clear like i haven't seen this in a long time so i'm really happy i'm gonna do my lips and stuff when i get back this video is going to be super long but hopefully it inspires others to like declutter and have a l nice little organized session whilst we're all off but i'm just gonna go grab my dinner my dad's just made a roast so I'm gonna go out and eat thank you thank you so much dad yeah. we are just walking the dog um i still need to film the last bit of my collection um decluttering my makeup collection we can do that later me and dave have just come for the evening walk and it's freezing i'm wearing like a tiny little t-shirt and then my puffer jacket that's not warm at all it hasn't got like a nice warm layer and we're just going for a nice little walk to the park i'm probably gonna have to run around with barney because i'm freezing I'm gonna get over to take an outfit photo because being stuck inside means no outfit pics which is shit <laughs> Are you enjoying quarantine? Uh, sure. David's been working at Tesco and his hands are so sore. Look, it's actually, it makes me want to cry. Like, look, my brother's mm. <laughs> David's been working so hard. Come on, good boy. Um, so if you go into supermarkets and you think you're going to be rude to someone, think again because they're the only reason you're allowed to get your supplies is because they're working. So if I find out anyone's rude to my brother again, <laughs> I'll kill them. <laughs> But yeah, no, on a serious note, there's some really massive assholes that are going into shops being absolute dicks to the staff as if it's their choice to like put in these rules in place. But obviously they've just been told by the government. <laughs> We're just on the field now. And Barney's running all crazy on the field because that David went to go put his poo in the bin and he doesn't know like who to go to. <laughs> He's so confused right now. So these are the two huge boxes I've got to give to my friends and family and sort some giveaway prizes out and also give to the Women's Refuge. I'm sure I'm going to come across a lot more when I look through my skincare stuff. But yeah, this is what it all looks like. So yeah, I'm really happy and I've sorted out all of my drawers too, which is amazing. Like literally look how empty everything looks because I've had a proper clear out, like got rid of shit that I don't want and don't use. So refreshing. So yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. And it's taken me all bloody day. <laughs> Right, so I'm just about to edit some photos that my brother took earlier for me um, when we were out with the dog. Um, I just got a couple of like cute outfit pics with the dog um, whilst we were out on the field, like by this garage door. And then I also got the photos I took earlier for the flat lays for my blog post because I'm going to write my blog post this evening. As I said, I'm always way more productive in the evenings when it comes to like writing, getting like more worky sort of stuff done if that makes sense like today i've done more like decluttering taking photos and like more chill stuff that i needed to do but this is the time now that i get like really like energetic and it's like nine o'clock so i am going to edit these photos and i'm going to screen record so you guys can see how i edit my photos i use lightroom i get a lot of questions on instagram like how do you edit your photos like what the filter do you use but i make my own presets on lightroom and me and Carrie, when we release our ebook, we're thinking about making our own Lightroom filters for people to buy. Um, because when we first started out using Lightroom, we bought other people's presets to like um, experiment with the app, if you know what I mean. So we thought it would be cool if we created our own ones. Like, obviously, they'd be super cheap and affordable. Um, but obviously, it takes a lot of time to like create these whole filters and everything. So um, then when you've like sorted out all the settings, you can save them as presets but essentially they're just filters and that's what i use to like edit all my photos so that they look the same on my instagram feed i know for a lot of people this is probably not that deep but to me i care like so sorry about it and it's just so easy it's like pretty much a simple click and then i play around with brightness and contrast it's mainly just changing the like tones of my photos ma making some colors less saturated like i don't really like grass green so i'll always put green really low i'm going to screen record now as i put all of my photos i'm gonna make my flat lay photos really bright and 
defined because I want them to be really like specific and focused on my blog and then with my Instagram pics I'm going to make them a bit more chill so I'm going to do the flat lay photos first so I'm going to screen start screen recording from now but I think this makes it makes such a difference for me anyway like I love seeing my photos like I'll I'm on screen record now but I'll show you like how incredible like it can make a photo if you know what I mean like it's just crazy, like the change. For example, these are the photos that I took when I completed my dissertation on the bridge. This is after, and this is before. Like, I actually can't believe the difference. Like, to me, it just looks so much better like that. Like, the blue sky is beautiful. Like, the green's a really nice colour. It just sort of brings life to the photo. Um, and I really like it. So, that's just an example of a before and after. And now I'm going to edit the flat lays first. So I've got this one, which is one of all of them. Um, these are my go-to presets, but none of these are, sort of look very nice. Maybe beachy. And then I'm going to turn down the graininess because I want it to be a high quality photo. And then make it more, make the clarity, up the clarity and the sharpening so that everything's really detailed. And then I'm going to bring down the exposure a little bit and the shadows just to make everything a little bit more defined but as you can see there it just looks a lot better personally in my eyes compared to before it just sort of brings life to the photos as you can see and then I'm literally going to just copy that copy the settings of that save that photo um and then copy and paste that onto all of my flat laid photos and then maybe slightly adjust depending on if the lighting's different in each of the photos but they should be very similar because I used my ring light um I just paste the filter on and there we go sort of like just giving it a nicer tone um I prefer it anyway just doing that and for me when I write my blog post as well I always find that I need to get the photos there first before I can like write the content if that makes sense which might seem a little bit stupid to some people but I just can't really like I don't know I just can never get what I want onto paper until I've got like the visuals there so um I've always been like that with my blog posts I have to get the photos first before I start writing I really like how these photos have turned out though like I haven't done a flat lay in ages so I'm pretty happy that I managed to get them pics without too many like props and getting things involved but I wanted it to be really like clean cut um I might crop this a little bit because I've got some like bed showing there we go perfect and I might just rotate that just so I can see it a little bit better and crop that edge a bit so a little bit even. Perfect. So I'm just going to quickly do this for the rest of the flat lays and then I'll get back to you when I'm editing the pics of me. Right, now onto the photos of me and my dog. Um, so I've just got this funny photo. I'm just going to start with this one. So my favourite at the minute is this one that I've made called Retro. I just like it because it like brings out the colours and I just really enjoy um, using it. So I don't want the brick in the background. I don't really like that like orangey colour. I just want it to be pretty simple. So I've got this um as the basis so this is the probably my most used filter that i've used over my instagram so this is what i would release like something similar to this so this is what i look like before and then this is what it looks like now um i think i'm going to just bring the darkness down a bit just to make it a little bit more clarified put the texture up a bit and then i'm also going to go into color click on mix and then go to the pinks and then bring up the saturation so it like brings out the pink color of my top as much as possible um, just because I really love the baby pink, especially with the light blue jeans. So, yeah, I'm going to export that. I really like that. And then I'm going to copy the settings and paste them for the rest of them. So that's what I'm going to sit and do now. And I'll time lapse this. Oh, okay. This one's gone super orange because I think because just because we've come a bit closer to my face. So I'm going to put the saturation down. I don't know why it's done that so much. And um, that's a little bit better. Maybe put the exposure up. Yeah, that's better. It went really orange then for some reason. Um, sometimes it does that depending on like obviously if you're changing the angle and stuff. So just look out for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
out of nowhere, I just thought, I'm going to take my makeup off, so why not film like a little IGTV? I've never uploaded an IGTV before, I've just always been like, well on the YouTube game, but seeing as we've got a bit more time, why not upload a little skincare, an evening self-care Sunday skincare sesh, so I'm going to film on my camera, pop back on my tripod and get my ring light out again, and film away. I've been, I'm just feeling in a good productive mood and I might as well film my skincare if I'm taking my makeup off anyway. <laughs> my makeup is off. I filmed my little skincare video. I'm going to edit that tonight. I think I'm going to make it into a TikTok as well because why not make it into a TikTok and an Insta post. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed my weird day full of random things, but I have been productive on my terms anyway, so... I'm really happy about that. I'm really excited to treat myself to some YouTube and chill tonight. However, first I'm going to be doing my blog post and some uni work. So I'm going to pop you on the side and for the next hour I'm going to power through my blog post and starting my dissertation poster. <laughs> I'm done for my productive day like I'm so exhausted I've just uploaded my blog post and I've also just been sent this article that a girl has written um about me I can't remember if it was for like a project or something specific um but this is the article it's called how mid-sized influencers are taking over Instagram and she's written like a piece on me so if you want to read it then you can obviously pause the video but yeah here is some of the stuff that she's written about me which it is amazing um, and there's some other amazing girls in there too who I really love especially my girl Chloe she's also in there which is amazing it's just nice to see that people are picking up on the movement I've done so many people's dissertations work this year to do with feminism body confidence influencing and the impacts on mental health it's really nice that I can help some people out with their like final projects and stuff which is amazing but yeah, I've also uploaded my blog post, which is so cute. It's just making me really happy that I've got my blog back up and running. If anyone wants to go read it, I'll leave it down below. But yeah, here are the pics earlier that we took. Looking all fab on the blog. Just whack that post out. I also had my YouTubers to binge watch during lockdown go up earlier, and it's gone down really well. It hasn't, not that many people have seen it, but from the response I've got so far, it's been really like wholesome and nice. So that's all I wanted to bring from it. And yeah, so I've ticked off a lot of things from my to-do list today. The only thing I didn't get to do is a workout and I probably should have done that. However, I did go out and walk the dog and we were like running around the field. So that sort of counts as a, work, a mini workout. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I've scheduled in to do either a home workout or a yoga session or something like that in my day. Just to get me moving a little bit more, get me a bit more active whilst I'm um, at home. So hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. I'm going to be daily vlogging, I think, just because this keeps me going. It gives me a purpose and makes me want to film me doing stuff, if you know what I mean. Like... Um, if any of you guys film videos or you can imagine like if I say right I'm going to do this I feel like I have to film it and show you guys so it gets me like motivated and productive um, which is great and I hope you're all doing well I hope this week brings you good vibes and positivity and I hope this video has taken your mind a little bit away from everything that's going on switch your phone off if the news is getting overwhelming it's got overwhelming for me several times this week and i've just switched off my phone my screen time's surprisingly gone down this week um since i've been at home which is a good thing because it means i'm not going to constantly see new coronavirus updates every second of the day because it's very overwhelming and intoxicating um so yeah i'm just feeling good i hope you all are too and i will see you very soon for another vlog love you all lot bye